It is the okay, introduction to the uh, end cap video, um, 6th of the 6th, 2022. So that's the 6th of the 6th, 2022. So today or yesterday, one year ago, this uh, work was finished and we decided we'd uh, wait one year just to see how it all went. And... Um, there's two types of silicon. One's the uh, bathroom wet area silicon, and this is the uh, standard um, roof and gutter silicon. Um, sorry, uh, silicon. We can see that it's lifted a little bit more with the roof and gutter silicon. It seems to me over the long term. But all in all, it's done much better than I thought it would it's uh, it's sitting down there I didn't want to um, put any holes in it for rivets or uh, screws I decided I wanted to stick it down and the best thing I could find was silicon however a year later it's looking fairly good with the uh, roof and gutter silicon and the uh, and the um, wet area silicon we can see here for instance that that's completely um, stuck down a year later whereas this one here this is the sort of thing we get with the um, roof and gutter silicon okay so the problem here is that it'll stick very well to the tin but not to the uh, to the plastic this is a very hard type of plastic it's got a contour that goes down in toward the gutter there the reason for this work is because in heavy rain the the rain used to blow up in the void between the bottom of the, uh, the tin here um, and the roof lining so it used to get up in here and then it had come down behind the, uh, the fascia and uh, and that would have caused rot so this is a good way um, of stopping any moisture getting in between the, uh, the tin sheet and uh, uh, lining underneath in, in the, amongst that cavity um, also I put sponge I, um, I raised the height of the gutter in this section here I think and I put uh, foam expandable um, not, not expandable foam out of a can but expandable foam that you buy in a bag and it, you just press it down and it slowly releases so that was put on the back edge of the gutter and up against the, the underneath of the uh, tin roof so this is an example of the um, interior uh, um, bathroom uh, silicon and we can see here that it has it has stuck down better okay it has done a better job with this um, hard plastic uh, cover there we can see that it's all stuck down and hasn't really come away anywhere um, seriously so this has done a better job um, also putting this uh, the silicon which is very hard I can't actually I can't seem to um, peel it away from the from the plastic okay it won't come away from the plastic here we see another one I'll try and get that off and that's that's not going to budge so yeah so um, if you watch the video you'll see all the particulars of the work done a year ago this was um, I did use sandpaper on the underneath of this to, um, to scuff it up and give it a key for the um, silicon to bond onto with this section and uh, this section's I'm very uh, confident about so I'll just go across that a little bit I might which way is the Sun going I can't really tell if the shade is blocking the video but there you there you go you might be able to see there so that's that's confidence uh, inspiring um, we're now on the right hand side that was the left hand side I'll go in a different direction so the uh, shade doesn't get in the video so this is the um, 
the roof and gutter silicon and we'll see that it's uh, not as good as the other sort so I'll just pan, a, pan along there a bit. And now the um, the wet area uh, silicon again. So okay, um, I think that's all that the introduction really needs. So if you're looking for something to um, to stop the uh, the rain and moisture getting in to that ceiling void and rotting out the front of the of the joists underneath um, uh, this should be the video for you um, this profile comes in different pro two different profiles one is sort of more of a flat one and this is the uh, undulating one I got this at Bunnings okay I got this at Bunnings I didn't get the sponge the expandable sponge that I sat on the back of the gutter from Bunnings, I found uh, what Bunnings had was was unusable. Not just bad quality, but unusable. I got the uh, I got another sort after buying from Bunnings. Um, Bunnings is usually very good, but in this instance, um, what they had wouldn't do the job, and I got the sponge from elsewhere. But I got this plastic from Bunnings. Um, yeah, I think that just about concludes it. Uh, don't forget to clean and paint or apply silicon inside the gutter before you uh, put the plastic capping on. Um, because once the capping's on, you won't be able to get to the gutter. I can recommend the silicon after waiting a year and seeing that it's the same as uh, when I first put it down. Um, but I, I would recommend using sandpaper and sandpapering the underneath the mating surface to the tin okay that could uh, provide a better um, bond with your silicon uh, I wouldn't use the roof and gutter silicon I'd use the um, the other sort you'll find it in the video if you pan through what I used on this second section here I think it's something like in uh, it's, it's wet area uh, silicon bathroom silicon okay Okay, so that concludes it. Um, the video is about to start. The, uh, the work was started, of course, uh, about a year and a half ago. As I say, it's uh, something like the 6th of the 6th, 2022 now. Um, the, the finishing of the work was uh, around about the 6th of the 6th, 2021. Um, also, I've got a video here. This, um, there's a gutter here that wouldn't drain, so I um, got cement sheet or eave sheet. I placed a piece of um, pine timber underneath it for support. Um, I applied silicon to the top of the uh, cement sheet. Okay, it is the 3rd of the 10th, 2022, and uh, these have been sitting under the house for a while. Um, this is a long-term test. I don't think that's wet area silicon. I think that's just uh, roof and gutter silicon. Um, that uh, that's the date there when it was uh, when this test was uh, made up. So this was put together a little bit less than uh, a year and a half ago. Um, this one here. Is also a year and a half old and uh, we've got a thin bead of the wet area silicon there and uh, builders glue um, I remember a year and a half ago I said that the builders glue probably wouldn't stand up to uh, the heat of the Sun but uh, we'll just go ahead and and see how these stood up to the test of time okay a long-term test of roof and gutter silicon It's even worse. I don't believe it. 
really is even worse with the uh, roof and gutter silicon. Yeah, okay, well, my suspicions are uh, confirmed, I suppose. Uh, the blob on the outside, yep, same thing. So over time, roof and gutter silicon will, uh, will release. Okay, we're going to get, uh, we're going to find a winner, a long-term winner out of this one. Um, so, again, the builder's glue and the wet area silicon. The builder's glue is standing up to a lot of pressure. It's, as you can see, that's opened wide right up. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, however, the builder's glue uh, is very, very strong and, and has uh, bonded very well to both sides. It's uh, it's bonded there and there and that's exactly what we're looking for in a product when gluing these uh, these plastic together. Uh, that is sanded. I did sand that. Um, now let's have a look at the wet area glue. Uh, that's that's oh good Oh god. Okay, so a bit's just peeled off of the silicon. Uh, there goes another piece. Okay, so, yep, yeah, look, this, this is the proof right here that um, silicon is not going to work on this. Uh, yeah, that's just peeling straight off. Okay. Um, so we do have a winner, and that that is the builder's glue. So at least we get something out of this uh, this test. Again, the silicon. It's, uh, it's not looking good for the silicon, and the builder's glue is the winner. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the winner. Um, that is not the uh, acrylic type of uh, builder's glue. I'd say that'll wash off in petrol. Yep, petroleum based. 